So, who now? Who now? It's been a while since Hayabusa, but I kind of want to go with like from the person we, from the person who liked me the least and up. I don't know why, I just want to do it like that. It just feels good, somehow. So, Kagura. Chapter 5, The Dream. When I awoke the next morning, as expected, Kagura-san wasn't there. I wondered if he was working hard at morning practice again today. So I decided to make my way to Inner Shrine. Whoosh, whoosh. I heard the sounds of a bamboo sword cutting the air. There he was, just as I had expected. Alone in the deserted shrine. I'm never gonna get over the placement of the sword. It's just, it's just so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. They're like, is it his tunnel or is it not? There was Kagura-san, doing his morning practice. His sharp eyes and glimmering sweat. Ooh. Like last time, it was still very difficult to approach him looking like he did. He looked beautiful. His movements were flawless. He wielded his sword with fluid motions. Only this place. It was like a different world that was cut from some other place. I tried to find a good time to start talking to him. Good morning! When Kagura-san put his hands down from his swing to catch his breath, I started to talk to him. You came, huh? I'm surprised. Kagura-san turned, turned to me with a nonchalant look on his face. His brow was slightly coated in sweat. You're training so passionately early in the morning. Please use this if you'd like. I smiled as I handed him a hand towel. Though looking bewildered for a brief moment, Kagura-san accepted the towel from me. You always try to get it with Kagura-san, don't you? No, we often do, but not... <coughs> no, we often do, but not always. Oh really? What about today? It was honest Kagura to do some errands early this morning. So, Kagura-san won't come here today? Woohoo! If it's just the two of us, then there's actually something that I wanted to try. Well, Kagura-san, would it be okay if I try holding a bad sword too? I, I, I'm not talking about you or Dick, I, I promise. He directed a puzzled look at me. Perhaps it was impossible for me. Even though it's unladylike, I wanted to try holding a bad sword and practicing with it, and I swear I'm not talking about tingle dongles. Are you interested in this? Yeah, well, but, but if it's impossible, then, then I'm fine. You can try swinging it. It will calm your mind. Are you sure about this? I don't recall refusing you, did I? After saying that, he had me grip the bamboo sword and... This is how you grip a sword. Tighten your armpits a little more. What? Tighten your armpits? Oh, that's cute. Oh my god, look at our chest, it's so big. Our baboozles are so huge. Oh man, no wonder everyone wants to sleep with me, just kidding. Oh, this is cute. This is cute. The look at the fingers on the sword. A plus art right there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What's this? As I held the bamboo sword from behind me, Kagura-san put both of his hands on the bamboo sword that I gripped and began guiding my swing. Yes, that's it. And you should open your stance about half a step more. <laughs> he quickly put his leg in between mine from behind to spread my legs. I knew that he was doing this to teach me the proper width of my stance. But this made me swell up with shame and anxiety. My heart beat loudly and my hands were sweaty as they gripped the bamboo sword. Then you bring the bamboo sword up like this. 
Kagura-san's hot breath fell upon me. He smelled vaguely of sw sweatness. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't smell like sweat, he smelled of sweatness. Sweatness. <laughs> and his breathing was a little faster than normal. It was my first time getting this close to a man. She keeps saying that, but like, wasn't he holding you yesterday or whatever? Then bring it down with a single quick stroke. Blah! Sword, being swung down with great force, caused my body to go slightly off balance. That's why I told you to plant your feet like this. Ugh. He quickly forced my legs apart again, and this time I let out a scream without a second thought. And then silence fell upon us. What are we getting so rough for? I'm just teaching you. Oh, sorry. Perhaps he was taken aback because I made such a noise from such a little thing. What should I say to excuse myself? I got a little surprised. Well, it's not lying. I mean, she was surprised. I just got a little surprised. I see. Kagura-san's body slipped away from me. My back suddenly felt cooler. The heat that covered my back before. That body heat that I felt before. What was that? What could be the name of that urge that led me back to Yoshivara again? It must be a love! What could it be? Suddenly, I remember the events of the day when I first came to Yoshivara, here, in Inner Shrine. This is where I discovered the couple who were going to run off together. Could a passion that I felt that time be what I feel inside myself right now? Hey, Gagurasa, what do you think about running away? You know, you know speak, speaking of nothing. How's that for a change of topic? <laughs> Amazing, your conversational skills are so good. Running away. <coughs> he had a slight voice crack there. Because he was so surprised. Kagura-san stared at me with a severe look on his face. I knew that the fact that I had helped that I helped the runaway is something that I shouldn't be revealing to people. Yeah, you really shouldn't. But I wanted to talk to Kagura-san about what happened the, the, the other the other day. And I wanted to express this burning feeling within my heart, even if just a little. When Aburo Rea first came to Yoshiwara, that was when I happened to pass by this place, the other we shrine. About a couple of them were about to run away. Kagura-san's face quickly turned pale. Running away is a serious crime. If I had aided a serious crime, too. But I, too, would be accused of the crime. That much, I knew. So why are you telling him? Stop! You're telling me this even knowing where we are right now? With a severe look on his face, Kagurasan lowered his voice and said that. I know. Right now it's just you and me here, right, Kagurasan? Oh my god, Kagura's gonna show up. He's... Kagura is gonna listen in, isn't he? Oh my god, he's gonna listen in and then he's gonna like blackmail me or something. Something bad is gonna happen. This is not gonna go well. Oh my god. This is not gonna go well. Do you think it's okay to trust me so easily? The way I heard it, it was like he was telling me not to trust him. I... Respond with a question. Yeah. Can't I trust you? That is your choice. But you don't know if someone could have been listening to us somewhere. That is true. That is very true. So don't say thoughtless things. I know. But Pegorasan, you won't do anything to betray me. Will you? When I said that. Kagura-san briefly sighed in resignation and then relaxed his expression. I am no need to betray you, but you are too naive. Here in Yoshiwara, that is a forbidden topic. Don't ever talk about it here again. 
Ugh. And you didn't just see them, you helped them. You didn't say that, did you? Ugh. I didn't even respond to that. I didn't expect him to admonish me so much. Kagura-san took my silence as a yes and then frowned. Why would you do such a thing? I thought of what I felt and what I thought. So you're what they call a sheltered princess, huh? You are way too naive. Sheltered princess. I love that they have a nickname for it. That they have like... A name... For girls who are super naive and don't really know anything about the red light district. I like that. If you want to carry out your own sense of justice and values, you also need to get more experience. Ugh. His terribly cold manner of speech made me sad. As I hung my head in sadness, Kagura-san's Kagura hand gently stroked my hair. Surprised by this, I lifted my head. I'm telling you this because I'm worried about you. Who isn't? Who isn't worried about her? Swear to me that you won't talk about it ever again. I felt like I had seen a flicker of kindness deep inside his piercing eyes. I wouldn't call those eyes piercing, honestly. His hand that combed my hair was very gentle and moved smoothly. I swear. It seemed like he was trying to console my sad feelings and warm me up. Despite having felt that he was so cold and scary, I was surprised that he could console people like this. That innocent heart of yours. There may be people who want to defile it. You mean like Takao? Uh. Well, you should watch out. If it wasn't me that you talked to, you could have been in big trouble. You could have been taken and abused of aiding and abetting. They could have extorted money from you. They could have even asked you for enough money to pay for their freedom. Uh. And if you couldn't pay for it, you might have to work as a servant in Yoshiura. Uh. You have no idea just how severe, merciless and relentless people can be. You could only say the things that you did because you're completely ignorant of all that. I felt a shield run down my spine. I'm sorry, that really was thoughtless of me. If you understand it, then it's fine. Kagura-san's hand that had been stroking my hair for some time slipped away from me. I felt reluctant to part from him. I wished that he would make me warm and comfort me more. He was really worried about me. With his terrifyingly severe expression, Kagura-san taught me something. He taught me how short-sighted I was. He taught me so that I could protect myself. And I am telling you, just as a reminder, running away is a very serious crime. If they are caught, then their lives cannot be guaranteed. It's that serious? The punishment is so harsh, I can't talk about it in front of women. What do they do? Do they like, shop their dingle dongles off? Or something? Running away is the same as risking your life. Running away is risking your life. She didn't know that. Do you think that it's love? Do you think that it could be true love? As Kagura-san asked me these questions, his face appeared to become somewhat clouded. Maybe I was seeing things, but the strength that Kagura-san ha always had was gone. I don't know that here, but... Well, it means something different from each person. Isn't it ideal that everyone can protect their own love in their own way? Kagura-san chuckled. You said that like you're well versed in the subject. You haven't even experienced temporary love, have you? Then why don't you try to dream more? Women visit the red light district for their dreams. Why don't you do the same? Oh, we look so angry. 
Ah, go wrestle him! Why was he so frustrated? I'm sorry. Kagura-san quickly looked away from me and murmured. Everyone starts to fall in love, understanding all too well that this is just temporary love. What would happen if I really became infatuated with a woman? It appears that I sometimes lose myself when I'm talking to you. Kagura-san's suffering eyes penetrated my heart. It felt painful. I felt painful. What is this painful feeling? When I'm with Kagura-san, I question myself many times. What do I feel about him? And what do I want from him? I couldn't discern if this was temporary, temporary or real. There was nothing... There was nothing I could be safe to being called a naive lady who knew nothing of the world. So I stared straight back at Kagura-san. We've talked for too long. Let's go back. Yeah. Kagura-san slowly veered his eyes away from me. Kagura-san, haven't you ever fallen in love? Huh? Kagura-san suddenly stopped preparing himself to go back. Did I say something that I shouldn't have? The men of the red light district fall in love with the woman who was bottom on that day. That's not what I was trying to ask him. But his appearance seemed to relay that he didn't want me to ask him any more of that. Any more than that. I couldn't say anything to Kagura-san in his current state. So... So, like the women who visit the red light district for their dreams? Do you have any dreams, Kagura-san? You've been studying and training with your sword so passionately. You must certainly have something in mind, don't you? But he turned his face down, as if to refuse my question. I don't have any dreams. There can't be any men on this island who have dreams. Tokuga has a dream. He wants to be the number one ghetto man. What are you? Let's go back. It's about time for breakfast. It's best if you eat and leave. Why? Why is he concealed what lies in his heart? Perhaps it couldn't be helped from Kagura-san, since he works in Yoshibara. My heart ached so much. I thought that Kagura-san, of all people, would be someone who really had a dream. Oh, I really like Kagura's story, actually. 23! Uh.